and so I was helping guide the company. Sandra took over as CEO. And then in 2008, Kevin Johnson took over as CEO and uh, took us to the next level. We decided we needed somebody who was a real CEO. And Sandra and I both agreed it was the right thing to do. In 2013, I'm going to wrap up here because I know I'm going to go. In 2013, we decided to do the IPO. And we had the roadshow all lined up. Uh, we were doing the, we filed the S1. And uh, then they were valuing us about 650 million at the time, is what the bankers were valuing me. Uh, Hiroshi Mikatani, who is the CEO of Rakuten Corporation. If you don't know Rakuten, Rakuten is a massive conglomerate out of Japan that uh, has fingers in everything. If you're a Barcelona fan, soccer fan like I am, they wear Rakuten, uh, Golden State Warriors do. Uh, Mickey, uh, that's what he calls him, Mickey, uh, Hiroshi Mikatani came to Kevin and said, we'll buy you 750 million cash. And Kevin came back to us at the board, and we talked about it, and we all said, look, tell him we're very honored by that, uh, but we're going public, thanks anyway. Mikatani came back and said, how about a billion? And uh, uh, I'll, I'll never forget that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we, uh, we decided, yes, and, and that's where it gets to the unicorn part. A billion dollar company in the valley during that day was called a unicorn. Because everybody was starting a company, they're gonna be a billion dollar company. We actually were a unicorn of real value, not private equity value, real market value. So they bought us. And uh, we closed the deal in 2014. Everybody on the board was dissolved. All the shareholders were able to cash out. Uh, since eBay sale, um, what do I do? Uh, I, uh, I saw the referee, I found other passions now. I'm a soccer referee, I can competitive youth soccer. I have three state cup games tomorrow. I'll tell you this, murder defendants are more enjoyable to be around than soccer parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, I, uh, I got my pilot's license, I fly, I got my instrument rating, I'm an instrument rated pilot, I do aerobatics when I do when I'm growing up. Um, but uh, ultimately, I'm, look, I'm a strong believer, I'll close on this, I'm a really strong, strong believer that you've got to follow your passion, no matter what it is. We lose or draw. If you follow your passion, you'll enjoy the journey. And really, what else is there? What else matters? And, and for me personally, look, I'm kind of, I guess at this point, I'm kind of living proof that a small percentage of something huge works out just fine. So anyway, so thank you all very much.